In this video, I'm going to show you how to add localization support for images in our mobile application. Let's head, let's assume our, our mobile app uh, user interface has some images that need to appear different when um, application runs on an international market. Uh, for example, in English language, uh, we will have an image with uh, English text on it, or it, it could be a flag. Um, and when application runs in um, in China, for example, we'll have images with a Chinese language on them, or it could be uh, a flag of China. So uh, I've downloaded a couple of flags, and one of them is a Canadian flag. Um, and uh, another is flag of Russian and um, I'm going to add flag to this user interface so that when I switch between English language and then Russian language I'll see different flags okay so first I need to drag and drop um, flag I need to add flag to my project so I'll select flag file and I'll click and drag and drop it into my project and I will choose this destination copy items if needed. Uh, next, and then I'll select flag file and then I'll click on it and choose a new group from selection. And now I'll call it images. It, it's not necessary, but I like it to be organized uh, into groups. Okay, now I have a flag. Uh, let's go ahead and add this flag into our user interface. So I'll go to main storyboard and I'll select uh, my user interface elements and I'll drag them a little bit uh, down here like this and I will uh, select a reset to suggested constraints to fix this user interface issues. Now under my objects library here I will look for image view and I will click and drag image here. I know that my flag is an icon, so it's a very small image. I don't need it that big, so I'll resize it a little bit. And now I will, while image view is selected, under utilities panel here, attributes inspector panel here, I will uh, select a flag from an image view, and my flag is here. But it's a bit distorted. Uh, um, now, so uh, while flag is selected under the view, I'll choose different mode. I'll choose aspect fit uh, for flag to look better. Okay, now it's looking better. I'll just resize it a little bit and drag and drop, drag and position it at the top right corner. Now I'll uh, reposition my UI elements again. I'll just move them a bit closer to the flag, uh, my button, and I will. Uh, reset constraints again uh, to fix uh, some of the uh, UI issues. Okay, let's add localization support to, uh, to our flag file so that when we switch user interface from English to Russian, we will see uh, a different flag. And uh, for that, I will select a flag file. And on my right side panel here, under file inspector, I will uh, scroll down to find a localization section and uh, it will have localize button which I need to click and uh, while base is selected I will click on localize and now I see that there are different localization uh, options I have. Base is my uh, current development language so I will uh, select uh, Russian because I need to add a Russian uh, language support. So I will uh, choose Russian and now when Russian is selected, if I look at the flag, I see that there is an arrow which I can unfold and I see that there are two versions of flag now. One is uh, Canadian uh, or English uh, for the English language and another is for uh, Russian uh, version of my mobile application. Uh, but the flag still uh, looks the same, so I will need to replace this image so that for a Russian version of the flag, I see actually an, um, uh, an, a different icon. And uh, while still on this um, file inspector, I want to, uh, ident uh, under identity and type, uh, under the full path here to my uh, flag PNG file, 
I want to hold command button on my keyboard and click on this arrow. That will bring up file inspector with the Russian uh, project opened. And if I switch to base, I see that there is a flag, a Canadian version, and under RU, for the localization um, version, I have a flag which is uh, Canadian. So this version of the flag I will need to replace. On my desktop, I have, um, I will switch to my desktop and I have a flag which is a different version. So I will copy this flag and I'll go back to my um, Russian uh, so the localization fo folder for my um, Russian application and I will paste this flag here and I will replace the original. So now I have flag which is Russian version. So I can go back to my application and now I see that I have a different icon. So I'll switch to flag PNG, which is for English version of my application is now Canadian and for Russian is Russian. Okay, now I can run my app and see how it uh, looks uh, on the device. So um, I will check my uh, schema. So now it is set to a Russian version. Uh, so let's run it with the application uh, language set as Russian. I'll close it and I will run it on the device. So I should now see user interface in Russian language and flag has to be um, Russian. Now everything works. I see user interface and the flag is um, Russian. Now we'll stop this application and I'll go and change schema and I will change application language to system language or English. I'll choose system language and I will run it. And now I see Canadian flag. Okay, so um, localization support for uh, our flag icon uh, is working. And for English language, we see Canadian and for Russian, we see Russian. Okay, so this is it for this video.